I'm Andy. I am Dave. I'm Kirk. And we're here today to do a music video review stroke reaction to a band called Dead Squad. And the song is Enigmatic Pandemonium. Dead Squad. Dead Squad. Yeah, it's they're, they're putting it right on their sleeves. They're like, we are Dead Squad. We, you know it's not going to be a ballad song, is it? It's, uh, it's metal. Uh, I believe it's Indonesian death metal, but I think it's modern death. Um, I have reacted to them on the old other channel at least once. But uh, you guys have never heard Dead Squad, I believe. Right. No? <laughs> Good. So this will be a first time reaction for you guys. Um, I think, as always with people, we don't pause, we don't talk over it. We'll share our thoughts and feelings at the end. That way you can enjoy the song, we can enjoy the song. And I think let's just get straight into checking out Dead Squad and Enigmatic Pandemonium. I'm so outside of my element on this one. <laughs> I don't even. I can tell you that I'm impressed by the technical playing, um, but I have no idea how to reference that as a 
that genre, that style, where does that sit? Is that good? Is it bad? Is it too much? Is it... It's, I, it's on the, the extreme end of the spectrum, I think. Yeah, but yeah. Um, intro, thought was the uh, cutscene from the latest Mortal Kombat film. But, <laughs> I thought it was yeah. Goro that had just been stripped yeah, away. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Terminator as well was in there as well. But yeah, yeah. visuals in as well. Um, Kirk, I don't know the, the term. That that sort of stop, start, cussive guitar playing. What, what's that called? I don't... Yeah, I'm, glad, I'm glad that was sort of knocked on the head early on. I'm not a fan of that. I, I quite like that, yeah. It, it, you kind of call that staccato, um, like bludgeoning, where all instruments are playing the same thing, that percussive element, which is very popular. Yeah, the, now, yeah and, the, and, the, and the pauses and the silence. I know that's used, you know, across the genres and everything, but it's not, not for me. But yeah, really good, really good. As David said, some technical uh, guitar playing in there, you know, good on their instruments. Indonesia's answer to Rob Halford in looks on, on vocals. He had, a, he had a good change of style as well midway through the song from, you know, quite harsh to higher pitch vocals. Yeah. Hmm. Good good song. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Yeah, I mean, so this is the type of thing that we would definitely cover at Screen Blast Repeat um, when we do our weekly music reviews. I The the obvious thing straight away is to what, what does it sound like? Um, so Lorna Shaw and the deathcore band Card Effects have gone in a black metal direction with that. Um, I definitely heard elements of deathcore, tech death, uh, and then like a symphonic black and metal, like Dimmy Borgir, even um, mid career Emperor. Yeah, I, I do like that at the beginning, and the, you know, that violent staccato blow, um, and they put in a bit of a, a off kilter time signature to that as well. The structure, I didn't I didn't even know if there was a structure to that, but it didn't alienate me. I, I could easily listen to an album of six or seven songs like that because you don't know what's coming next. And they've already shown that they're willing to think outside the parameters of just extreme metal with that um, Wagnerian influence at, at the beginning. So the, the, uh, the drum triggers I thought were very powerful. The vocals I really liked, single tracked, not overproduced. Um, good growl, really, really, um, mm. that that type of throat abrasion. I've heard better, don't get me wrong. Um, that shredding guitar solo was uh, outstanding. You only have to look at the technique. Um, he was using all four fingers um, when, it, when he was, when he was uh, fretting those scales. So I, I, I did like that. So when I was laughing at the end, it's because, yeah, it's absurdly extreme and it's meant to be like that, isn't it? Mm. Like Lorna Shaw. Carnifex, and you're only going to see more of this, Andy, where you've got bands who take, um, I would say, decapitated version, early version of death metal, then they take modern deathcore and put in a back, bit of black metal in there and, and really exaggerate the um, the aggressive elements to the point where you're almost laughing, aren't you, um, at it because it's just so unashamed in its brutality. Cool. Right, well, that was Dead Squad then. Enigmatic Pandemonium. There you go. That was a great name for that song. He actually sums it up pretty well, actually. Uh, I think, actually, we all generally thought that was a pretty much a positive song. Even I did, from a technical point of view. Um, so, yeah, we'll probably check out some more Dead Squad to see if it's all like that or if it's a bit different on some different other videos in the future, I'm sure. Uh, but if you like this video, please do subscribe, click the bell icon, like and share, and we will see you on another video sometime very, very soon. Take care.